The radius template marker is a great choice for, say, radius caps on a fire pit. That's really what we created it for. I know a lot of you contractors like your jobs perfect, and that's what this really is designed to do. It's to get those caps exact. Every single one shaped the exact same way, so you can go around the fire pit and have just a real crisp looking product. We've made it so it's pretty um, easy to use. It has your dimensions in it. 18, 24, and every one of these notches marks an inch. We also have it on the cross piece, starting at uh, three inches here, and runs up to 14 inches wide. On the back side, we have these little notches, and that's what's gonna lock over the sides of your cap to mark it. This is designed in such a way to come back to your center point. So each one of these lines comes back to your center, and that's what gives you that perfect pie piece. So for instance, if I'm doing a fire pit, and I did the same thing here on this radius cut on this job, I was able to mark it. And generally I would keep a grade stake. We made this for a grade stake opening. So if I had a grade stake in here and I knew I needed a 36 inch radius off my patio, I'd put my grade stake in the ground and then I'd be able to set my length, and again, that was 36 inch, I'm using a six inch border, so now I've come back to 30. I've got this unit set at 30 inches. So now I can set it here, put my marker here, and run my radius. Very simple marking for the, for the curve. To do my caps, let's see if I can do this backwards. I loosen these up. I'm going to go out to 36 inches, and again, there's a little tab here on each side that locks into those V's. So I'm 36 on that side, I'm 36 on this side. I'm also going to use the 6 inch width, so that's also going to lock in. So I got two locks there on the 6 inch, and here I'm going to be 36 here. I tighten these down. This will wrap around my piece of stone my border stone. This I can mark then my pieces. I'll show you how that works. So I want to show you these are locked in on the sides. I've got my distance. It's given me two perfect pieces to cut off and you'll see that'll give me an exact radius when I'm done cutting. I'll get my saw, I'll cut these pieces, it'll come out perfect. So you'll notice, you want to put just that little bit of gap in there to be able to get your sand between the joint, whether it be a C33, poly sand, or easy joint. You want to make sure you got about a 3 16 inch joint here so you can get that interlock. And you can see how every one of those pieces is exactly symmetrical. When installing a fire pit, if I'm using a cap such as this, this generally would make a six or seven foot radius if I laid them all together. A fire pit's not that way. We have to do a nice tight radius. We created the radius uh, template marker, and this is, has the sizes built into it here. So you can see 24 in every one of these notches is an inch. So if I have a 30 inch fire ring, and I wanna hang my cap over two inches, I'm gonna go up to 31, 32, and I'm gonna adjust my tool at 32 inch. Now, you can see on the back, and in here I got my notches, so I'm gonna do 31, 32, 31, 32 on this side. 
I also have these little ears. This is what is going to wrap around the top of my cap. So if I just lock these in, 31, 32, I can tighten that up, 31, 32. Let me 31, off one here, 32, and I'm going to adjust my width and my length. I tighten these up. As you can see, I've got a perfect wedge-shaped piece. When I cut that, every one of these pieces around the entire fire pit will be exact, exact. A real easy way to do it. We also created it with a pin here. So if you're doing your fire ring, would no matter what size piece, say I want to use a multiple piece system, I could drop this over my center pin. And as I swing that around, I can adjust any shape or any uh, block to that exact radius. Mark my left and right side. I'm ready to cut and have all perfect pieces.